folks a day. I'd like to talk to you about the condition of the forest northeast part of the province, just northwest of Fort St. John on the Red Creek Fire. Hello, my name's Brian Bowman. I'm a fire behavior specialist with the incident management team from the BC Wildfire Service. We're experiencing very dry conditions for this time of year up in the Northeast. And I'd like to go over the forest types that we have up around here and that, that are giving us problems and, and, and are conducive to the spread of wildfire under these conditions. On this fire, we've got quite a mix of fuels. We have stands of pure spruce and mixed woods that are deciduous mixed in with spruce and balsam. As well, we've got large areas that have been affected by wind and have heavy loaded blowdown, and that is adding to the difficulty in controlling the fire and also adding to the, the spread of the fire. Behind me is the type of forest that we're dealing with on this fire. I'd like to go in and show you some of the different characteristics of, of the forest here that contribute to the spread of wildfire. See that the branches go all the way down to the ground and then uh, down on the ground we have very dry grass so if the fire was to come in here with a little bit of wind it will just flare up quite quickly and then you can see that they're quite packed densely together like all the branches lead to each other so it just goes from one tree to the next tree quite quickly. And even when the wind does die down a bit, the flames will come down, they'll be on the ground into fresh dry grass and then the wind comes back and then it just continues moving on. Um, there's a lot of uh, small trees as well and they're quite volatile to the, or susceptible to the fire as it spreads across. They're equally as dry. You can see on the ends that they haven't started budding out yet so they have very little moisture in them and uh, they ignite quite easily. The new grass is starting to grow up and and that uh, isn't, the green grass doesn't burn so well, but mixed in there, there's still all the dry grass and the leaves that have fallen off the tree. So just because there's green grass doesn't mean that it won't burn. And once fires into this with a bit of wind, it will carry it into the forest where it's drier and not even greening up yet. Example of, uh, the blowdown that's in the area, uh, there's quite a bit of it, but as you can see, a lot of it is, you know, close to two meters in height. Uh, everything's dead and dry. The branches uh, snap easily, all the bark. There's uh, tall dead grass everywhere. Uh, fire gets into this, gets a little bit of wind. It's got so much fuel, it just, uh, just takes off and the way it goes, you can't really stop it. You can't move in it. You, you can't put crews in it, it's too dangerous and too hot. Later in the week, forecasted weather has become warmer and drier as well as the wind picking up. This could contribute to the fire picking up in activity just due to the wind mixing down and getting into the fuels and pushing the fire into fresh dry fuels.